Hi, I'm Brian Bebo with Teledyne API. Today I wanted to go over with you some tips and tricks on proper purging and cleaning of your regulators for ambient air monitoring. Um, this is especially important when we're working with the more reactive gases, uh, nitrogen dioxide, nitric oxide, uh, sulfur dioxide. These gases, in my experience, I've found um, if you don't properly clean and keep clean your regulators, your cylinders, and also properly purge, you'll have issues with lining out your gases under calibration and it can take quite a long time on their own to purge out. So uh, the best procedures are to just start with proper purging and cleaning right from the beginning. Before we even mount our cylinder, our cylinder regulator on here, what I'll often do with these types of cylinders is inside this neck area here, I'll use a cotton Q-tip swab and clean that neck out with either some deionized water or some isopropyl alcohol, something that I can guarantee that if anything's gotten into that neck, um, the valve section here during transport, um, that we've got it cleaned out. Also, regulators. When I've got a regulator and it's new, if this regulator is not on my cylinder, I keep these bagged up in Ziploc bags, keep dust, dirt, air out of the regulators, and also try to dedicate a cylinder regulator to a certain application. So this regulator is a CGA 660 stainless regulator. Um, it's generally always going to be on a um, you know Knox SO2 CO cylinder like this. If I've got another one for H2S, you know I dedicate that to H2S, etc. Um, so assuming we had already cleaned the cylinder neck here, we've got our cylinder mounted uh, or regulator mounted. Sorry, we've got everything leak tested here. Uh, the way that I prefer to do this is to use a vacuum pump on our output here. So right now I've got just a, a Knox analyzer vacuum pump plumbed in here. I'm um, going to go ahead and turn that on. Can make some noise. So now we've got our cylinder closed. We've got no pressure dialed in here. We've got our output closed. If I open this up, we're going to see a vacuum on our gauge here. I'm going to close this up, now I know I'm set here. What I want to do is open the cylinder fully, and let's set this at our normal application pressure of 30 PSI here. I've got 30 PSI dialed in, got, I don't know, 1650 on the, the cylinder. I'm going to close this off. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. So now my cylinder is closed, my output is closed. I'm going to open the output all the way. We're going to bring both gauges down to vacuum. What we're doing is we're trying to get all the, the other air, the captured air from the, that was in this regulator out. So the only thing we're going to have in here is our application gas. So now we're going to close this again. Open our cylinder. Close our cylinder. Open our output. It's also not a bad idea to exercise the, the pressure regulator setting a few times here. So now we're going to come back on. We're going to dial this back up to 30. I usually do that once or twice throughout this. Now with a vacuum pump, you can usually get this in 5 to 10 times. I'd say if you really want to be safe, go ahead and do this about 10 times total with a couple of exercises on that. Um, you know, when I was taught this with, in the old days, not that long ago, but we didn't use these pumps and, you know, some people would tell me to do this 40 or 50 times. It's pretty excessive and I prefer to do it with the pump. I think you get better results and it's also much faster. I've been keeping track here, but that was probably, this is probably number three. good exercise for your hands and arms while we're all sequestered to our houses and looking for things to do here. Also we obviously want to practice safe cylinder storage and use carts and have these guys secured when we're working on them. So that's the technique. Right now we can say 
that this cylinder regulator is properly purged, we can feel confident that when we hook this up to our calibrator and dilution system that we're going to get repeatable, stable concentration outputs from that system.